Hey everybody, it's Dr. Nicole with Thrive, and I got my good friend with me, Dr. Colton O'Brien. Colton, I know I ask you every week, but are you getting more used to hearing your new name, Dr. Colton? I am now. I am now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, dude, how many weeks into practice are you now? Wrapping up my fourth week. Oh so, my god. I guess you could say first month done. Holy mackerel, first month under your belt already. It's crazy. So, so uh so bring us up to speed. What what went on this week? Now that it's your fourth week, what's what's happening? What does the fourth week look like? I the coolest thing uh is like I mean, I've taken care of people throughout school and I've, you know, provided kind of the chiropractic care, but like, this is the first time it's like, it's like all me, you know, like I, I saw people in the student clinic, but it was like maybe once, maybe twice a week. Um, just depending, it was just very, not, not the most consistent, but like the coolest thing about being a chiropractor is just really seeing people get results. And that's what I'm starting to experience. Like, I mean, there are people that like feel better after their first adjustment. Right. But we're not really going for just feeling better, but like, having my people get off the table and one me looking at them and then them just looking like a more vibrant human is one of the coolest things in the world. And then, then being like, wow, I knew I was coming in here because my neck was giving me trouble, but like, I didn't know it was going to change like my whole life. I didn't know like, the rest of my body was going to feel great. I didn't know my brain was going to feel great. You know, it's like, it's really cool to see. And like, that's just the verbal component of what they're saying. Like, and we know when we're just each adjustment has the power to transform lives. So even, even the people that aren't talking, like, it's just cool to know that like change is happening with each adjustment in which with each, the, the, really the time between each adjustments is when that's happening. So that's, what's really cool. That's awesome, Colton. And, you know, this is kind of fascinating because I just got off of another call, um, before hours. And I did a whole, I just recorded a, um, a philosophy call for you guys and for, um, chiropractic students. And it was, it was really a great call. And, and, you know, we talked a lot about how really and truly philosophy and the, the, and embodying the chiropractic philosophy. In other words, taking the, the philosophy from like your brain, which we all like learn the philosophy, but we read the green books. If you, if you guys are out there watching right now and your students, um, your new doctors, even if you're old doctors and you haven't read them in a while, um, Colton will tell you firsthand, it, they are an absolutely essential read. You have to be reading the green books. You have to be not only just reading them though, because that's just information. You have to take the 18 inch journey of taking the information now from your head and embodying it so that you become so convicted about the philosophy and the and above down inside out healing and, and the power that the body has to heal itself. Once we remove nerve interference, um, it, it, it is it is absolutely essential, not only for a healthy practice and a successful practice, but is absolutely essential for, for our, a healthy life for us and a fulfilling life for us because cracking backs, cracking backs. And I'll tell you this, I've been in practice for 23 years and cracking backs is, is, is not fulfilling. <laughs> it's not fulfilling, especially if you have patients that are associating the crack with the pain or the loss of pain, right? It's not fulfilling. But when you have patients that really understand that you're re that you that the nervous system carries the essence of who of who they are, their nervous mm. system, their brain and their nervous system carry the essence of who they are, and you're releasing interference to that essence, and they understand that mm. um, practice becomes a whole nother level. And um, now, because you know. I don't want to teach you, Colton, how to just have a successful practice. I want to teach you how to have a happy and successful life. And, and, and fulfillment is everything. Absolutely. I think that's beautiful. Just re echoing what you said, the nervous system holds the essence of who we are. Like to grasp that, like one, like hearing that in my, my ears and understanding of my conscious mind. But like you said, taking that to the heart level is like, that's deep, that's deep. And we're working with that. 
each and every day. So that's beautiful. But to what you're saying about having a meaningful life, golly, this is all for nothing if we're not, if we're not really deriving meaning from it, you know? Exactly. And, you know, I don't know, I think you experienced this a, a little bit um, like a week or two ago where as humans, we have a tendency to compartmentalize things. And like, sometimes people, I think, I think the majority of the people on the planet, they say, okay, like, this is my job, this is my career, and then this is like my personal life, and this is my recreational life, and this is my spiritual life. And really, it's like, no, it's like, this is your life. Yes. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this is your life, you know, and how you and how you practice is a reflection of your life and a reflection of who you are. That's beautiful. I think that's like a a huge piece that that is um i wouldn't actually i don't want to say it's not understood because i think a lot of people do understand that that's why there's so many amazing chiropractors out there um but like understanding like your one your relationship is a product of who you are your how you your practice is a product of how you are like a lot of times your kids are a product of how you are it's just like that's why like it's so important to make sure that we are right within ourselves and in our relationship with our higher power and our purpose in this life so that's cool that's really cool yeah so tell us a little about a little bit about this week what were some of your what were some of the wins that you had this week did you first of all did you see any chiropractic miracles yet it's hard to say it's hard to say what really is a chiro- what what is and what is not like a, a miracle you know like it's all like what is a miracle in the first place a miracle is just is just like <laughs> something that may be perceived as, as not, not normal, but like when the body's put in when normal action is flowing, like, and there's no limits to what God can do. I have up above my door, expect miracles, um, mm-hmm. in my, in my office. So I love that. But I just, I guess the coolest thing right now is just this, this, and it's, it's very like surface level, but it's, it's just, it's really cool to see the the meaning that he is deriving from it. I have this older patient, I mean, not older, <laughs> I don't mean to say it like that. He's older than me. Um, and he like has not, been, he like can't, couldn't move his neck. And he, he like terrible, like post COVID, like was in the hospital, like was just like thought, thought it was done for, um, I think like was really on his last leg. And then since then he just like, hasn't been himself i guess and has had been able to move his head and just really been dealing with it and thought it was gonna be like that for a while and like he is like a raving fan now because he's like man like i can i can move my head this is crazy and he's the one that's like i i knew that i was coming in here because i wanted my one emotion back in my neck and be, to be able to move my my neck but i didn't know the rest of my body was going to just feel this much better and you can kind of see the vibrancy and it's funny like he's one of those people that like after you adjust them they laugh and it's just like it's just i I love laughter in the practice and it's just it's cool because that's that's coming from somewhere and like that's that laughter is not just superficial laughter like there's he's not holding it back he's just letting life flow and like what i say is my core value in my office is is full expression and like when people are laughing like that's that's one of the purest forms of expression there is so that's a that's a miracle to me in and of itself. Yeah, awesome. That's so beautiful. I love I love that. Did you ever? Um, I don't know if you noticed yet. Well, I think you kind of meant you kind of touched on it. You say like when people get off the table, they kind of look different. Mm-hmm. Like Isn't face is more flush. It's it's wild. Like it's like wow. It looks like you. You know, like you see people like they come out of like a. And they've just been going through it and they have like a spa day or something and they look like a totally different person. They're like, they can breathe again or something like that. It's kind of like, it's quick because it's, you know, the adjustment's like a quick session, but like they get up and they look like a totally different person. And it's just, you can see that energy flowing through their body again. Yeah, but it is. An aura. And um, also, we, this just happened. It happens often, but it just happened to one of our patients where we had a teenager, um, start. And when she first started, she was like, like this and her eyes were like half closed and like she had acne all over and like, she just looked like really sad and like just overweight and just not healthy. Like you look at her, she's not healthy, you know? 
And um, she started getting adjusted and she looks like a totally different woman. Like literally by releasing the energy, the blocked store, like the blocked energy that was in her body, her essence, it, it changed not only like, yeah, of course her posture is better, but like it changed her physiological state and it literally changed matter. Like her, her, her face cleared up, like her face looks different almost like okay did you ever watch a scary movie when you were a kid and um you're a super christian so maybe you didn't but (laughs) i'm not the biggest scary movie guy oh no okay so this is gonna be a bad example for you but (laughs) no it's okay i've I've seen them i've seen them i just i don't like scary movies Yeah. So like if you ever watched like a movie where like somebody gets possessed and like literally their face changes, like they look like a different person. This is like the reversal. Like I I, I swear to God in our practice, we see this all the time. It's like the reversal of that where like their, their, their physical matter actually changes. Mm. It's really crazy. It's really crazy. It's totally awesome though. Absolutely. Yeah. So you, did you, um, I think you had a spinal screening last weekend. Two. Yeah, two. Yeah. Awesome. Was, um, Tell cool. us about that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was really cool. So I was just, you know, that's like the, the week two and three of practice were like, maybe, I think I maybe had like three new patients total. And I was just like, man. But I was like kind of hard on myself, but like I had to go out of town the the prior weekend. So I didn't have, that's like my main form of attraction right now is, is screenings. And so then I was like, okay, I got to get back out there. Cause at first I didn't want to do any screenings. And now it's like, I can't wait to go do, do more screenings and share this message and, and grow my community. Um, mm-hmm. And it was good. So I just, I looked up one, um, I couldn't really find any screenings for last weekend, but on Saturday, I found one and it was just like a woman's empowerment event and it wasn't the most fruitful as, as it relates to um, getting new patients in the door, but I made a lot of great connections and like it was, they're speaking to women and as a women's empowerment um, event, but like I was super empowered after it. There are some great speakers um, and I got to share my message. Um, and then I also met a woman who like, he used to be a CA for a really successful chiropractic office. And mm-hmm. when, when around that COVID time, she had to step away because the clinic wasn't doing too well. And now she's in a job that, um, that she, she just misses chiropractic and she's like, I want to get back into it. And so I got her contact and like, who knows what the, what God is doing, but it, it definitely could be a potential like CA in the future or just someone that can, you know, help me whenever I need help. So that was cool from it. And then I, I, I'm following up with a few leads from it, but, um, the security guard, um, that was on duty, he was, uh, he just kept hearing me talk about chiropractic because he was standing right next to my booth. And at the end of the day, he's like, you know what? I think I want to sign up. And I was like, okay, cool. And so we got him signed up. He's coming in next week. Um, so that was a fun event. And then on Sunday morning, I, um, set up at the like local spin bar, like it's called cycle bar. Um, had a booth outside, had my um, nervous system poster, was doing like just spinal checks and it was awesome. It was a beautiful morning. Um, got, got a few new patients, got tons of leads. Um, and yeah, so I had, I have more new patients on the books now. So that's, that's good to hear and good to see, but both of those are good. And I love just being out there. I, I have a lot of fun at screenings. That's awesome. I love that you love screenings. Um, it, once again, we were just talking about this in my philosophy call, call um, an hour ago. And, you know, we talked about how like a lot of chiropractors, they don't, they don't want to go out and do spinal screenings, you know, and really what it is, is that, you know, they're looking. And the reason why that is, is because those chiropractors are looking at a spinal screening as a means to get patients. So when you look at it, as a means to get patients, sure, it's going to seem like daunting. It's going to seem scary. It's going to seem cumbersome. It's going to seem, you know, maybe, you know, not very fulfilling, but when we could start to see chiropractic as a message that we need to share and that, and, and when we could start to see things like spinal screenings or outside talks as, as a vehicle to share our message to humanity, 
to transform humanity, now a spinal screening becomes something way bigger than just this event that you go to do to get new patients. Absolutely. And, yeah. And, you know, it sounds kind of funny because new patients, of, of course, are going to bring you in new revenue. So like on the surface, you know, you think, well, God, wouldn't everybody want to do a spinal screening to get new patients, to get more re- new revenue, you know, but when it's just like money driven, it's not, it's not fulfilling. It doesn't fulfill your heart, but when it's purpose driven and now you're, and now you're, you're, these are acts of, we call them acts of kindness or, or, or acts of service. I like that a lot. Acts of service. Now when it becomes an act of active service, now you're showing up for something bigger than yourself. Right. And that's your fuel, you know, that's your fuel, that's your motivation, that's the fuel that gets you out of bed to do that 6 a.m. screening. Mm -hmm. I always tell myself, like, pure intention, no attachment. So, like, my goal, like, it can't be like, I got, I have to have 10 new patients today or else it's a bust. Like, it's like, it's more so like, hey, my intention is to share this message and to get people in the office to grow my community because in turn, their lives are going to change. Like, I want them in my office and obviously everyone wants money, but like, like we talked about, like money is a product of services rendered. So like the reason that money is going to be in my account is because like these people's lives are changing. And that's what, that's why I'm on a mission to, to adjust as many people as possible, check as many as people as possible. So. I love it. I love it. And that's why you're so easily blessed. Like, you know, you're so blessed and like things and not, I shouldn't, I don't, I'm not taking it. You work, you're a hard, very hard worker, but like things come to you, Colton. You know, because um, I, yeah. you know, I also see people who like work and work and work and work and work and work, and they're just like nothing comes to them. <laughs> That's <laughs> like true. That's true. Slamming shut, and they're working and working and working and working, and the doors like keeps them shut. And that's the reason. Like, if you guys are out there watching, write this part down or like etch it into your mind. Is like it's not just about the work, but it's the intention behind the work. Mm, I think that's huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, um, so what do you got uh, this upcoming weekend? Are you, you have any screenings or any, any family fun stuff? Um, Liz is working. Oh, some really cool. Um, I'll talk, I'll start with the really, I do have a screening. I'm going to uh, the fitness connection down the street. It's like a block from my office. So one of the closest, um, screening that I've done, I'm just setting up a booth at the gym and just talking to people as they either before they begin or in their workouts. So we'll see how that goes. I was looking for something and I think that'll be good. So um excited for that tomorrow from 10 to 1 and then i'm just gonna watch some basketball and enjoy the rest of the day um that day and then on sunday is probably the coolest thing that may ever happen in my life what? my yeah my wife liz um is getting baptized so um what? yeah so she's she's yeah she's committing her life i mean she's already committed her life to to Jesus through like the, she said, yes, but like to take the action of being baptized is, and being just transformed in the water is just going to be the coolest thing. I've prayed for it for so long and yeah, I'm, I'm all, almost in tears just thinking about it. Cause it's, it's so amazing. It's the best decision you could ever make. So um, she's doing that. And then my mom is rededicating her life because my, my mom, we grew up in, we are like a non-denominational right now but we grew up in a, a methodist church and they just like kind of sprinkle your head with water um mm-hmm. and my mom's never been like under water and she's always wanted to have that experience so my mom liz was kind of shy so my mom's going to do it with her so my mom and liz are going to be baptized this weekend and i just can't wait to support oh. both both of them that's so great congratulations yeah. thank you thank you it's really cool that's phenomenal I love that. That's like, wow. that's like one, one of my favorite things is to watch some to watch someone be baptized. It's just like it's, you you see it, like you see mm-hmm. just like the spirit of God just emanating from them. It's 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 amazing. Yeah, that was always my that's always my favorite week at church is baptism yeah. week. <laughs> it's so cool. It's just it. like the the purest, the purest. You know, it's like there's there's not much. I don't know. It's crazy. It's cool. And it's a reminder, like it's a reminder for me anyway, it's a reminder for me, you know, of what's important and my focus. Cause a lot of times when we're living in the world, we can get 
all right, I'm speaking for myself. I don't want to speak for anybody else. But when I live in the world, I can become very distracted by worldly things, you know? Me so too. that's always the come back to come, come home, so to speak. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I'm the same way. That's awesome. Well, you are going to have an amazing weekend. You have a lot to look forward to. Believe it or not, we're coming up on our half hour time, Colton. Well, our time always, real quick. always flies. All right, what am I doing this weekend? Um, I have nothing specifically planned nice. for this weekend. Um, I'm going to hang out, spend time with my boys and my family. Um, hopefully, my parents will come down this weekend. We'll spend time with them. And um, it's just all about a family weekend this cool. weekend. Okay. So Sounds awesome. Really yeah. Yeah, it's really good. We um it the the practice, our practice has been just blowing up. It's just insane. So that's been it's like that's kind of on autopilot. Well, that's and awesome. It's, it's on autopilot and it just it continues to grow and be blessed. So that's a that's a huge blessing and lots of good lots of good stuff is happening. That's right. That's right. Yeah. It's All springtime. Right, cool. It so, is springtime and things yeah. are blooming. That's right. Yeah. Dr. Laura's Dr. Laura's blooming. You should see her. She's like, because you know Dr. Laura's pregnant, right? So mm -hmm. she's gonna be given, she's gonna be giving birth here in June. We have a new doctor starting in uh, next week. Not like this week, but the week after we have another doctor starting to cover her maternity leave. Nice. We're looking for another full-time doctor to just continue to add to our our clan here um we just hired a we do we do chiropractic biophysics so with cbp um in our office we do there's a lot like, a lot of cervical curve tractions and mm -hmm. um whole curve curve correction so i just hired a um a male uh physical um re rehab specialist so okay. he's going to be doing all cbp curve correction setups things like that spinal corrective exercises, things like that. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so really all good stuff happening. Thank yeah, you for asking. This is really supposed sure. to be about you, Colton. No, it's about, <laughs> it's about us. Excellent. Well, that is awesome. So I think I'm going to close out our podcast today because we're right at the half hour mark. We're just almost at it. Cool with me. You there? You there? Yeah. All right. And uh, we'll have just have a really blessed weekend. And then um, we will reconvene next week. I can't wait to see how everything goes with, um, I'm sure it's going to go great, but Liz's experience on Sunday yes. and your cool. mom's as well. Tell them both I said congratulations. That's awesome. I, I will for sure. I love your mom, by the way. I, I've never, obviously, I never met her in person, but we are like Facebook, we're Facebook friends, we're Facebook yeah. buddies. And she's yeah. so great. She like supports everything that I do. I love yeah, her. She, that's what she does. That's what she does. She just loves people. She's awesome. So tell her thank you and congratulations. I'm super excited for her. I will. I will. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. Colton and I will see you next week. Hey, everybody, it's Dr. Nicole with Thrive, and I got my good friend with me, Dr. Colton O'Brien. Colton, I know I ask you every week, but are you getting more used to hearing your new name, Dr. Colton? I am now. I am now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, dude, how many weeks into practice are you now? Wrapping up my fourth week. Oh, so, my God. I guess you could say first month done. Holy mackerel, first month under your belt already. It's crazy. So so uh so bring us up to speed. What what went on this week? Now that it's your fourth week, what's what's happening? What does the fourth week look like? I the coolest thing uh is like I mean I've taken care of people throughout school and I've you know provided kind of the chiropractic care. But like, this is the first time it's like, it's like all me, you know, like I, I saw people in the student clinic, but it was like maybe once, maybe twice a week, um, just depending, it was just very, 
not not the most consistent, but like the coolest thing about being a chiropractor is just really seeing people get results. And that's what I'm starting to experience. Like, I mean, there are people that like feel better after their first adjustment, right? But we're not really going for just feeling better. But like like having my people get off the table and one, me looking at them and then them just looking like a more vibrant human is one of the coolest things in the world. And then them being like wow, I knew I was coming in here because my neck was giving me trouble, but like, I didn't know it was going to change like my whole life. I didn't know the rest of my body was going to feel great. I didn't know my brain was going to feel great. You know, it's like, it's really cool to see. And like, that's just the verbal component of what they're saying. Like, and we know when we're just each adjustment has the power to transform lives. So even, even the people that aren't talking, like, it's just cool to know that like change is happening with each adjustment in which with each the, the, really the time between each adjustments is when that's happening. So that's, what's really cool. That's awesome, Colton. And, and, you know, this is kind of fascinating because I just got off of another call um, before hours and I did a whole, I just recorded a, um, a philosophy call for you guys and for um, chiropractic students. And it was, it was really a great call. And, and, you know, we talked a lot about how, really and truly philosophy and the, the and embodying the chiropractic philosophy in other words taking the the philosophy from like your brain which we all like learn the philosophy we read the green books if you if you guys are out there watching right now and your students um your new doctors even if you're old doctors and you haven't read them in a while um colton will tell you firsthand it, they are an absolutely essential read you have to be reading the green books you have to be not only just reading them though, because that's just information, you have to take the 18 inch journey of taking the information now from your head and embodying it so that you become so convicted about the philosophy and the and above down inside out healing and, and the power that the body has to heal itself. Once we remove nerve interference, um, it, it, it is it is absolutely essential, not only for a healthy practice and a successful practice, but it is absolutely essential for, for our, a healthy life for us and a fulfilling life for us because cracking backs, cracking backs. And I'll tell you this, I've been in practice for 23 years and cracking backs is, is, is not fulfilling. <laughs> it's not fulfilling, especially if you have patients that are associating the crack with the pain or the loss of pain, right? It's not fulfilling. But when you have patients that really understand that you're re that you that the nervous system carries the essence of who of who they are, their nervous mm. system, their brain and their nervous system carry the essence of who they are, and you're releasing interference to that essence, and they understand that, mm. um, practice becomes a whole nother level. And um, now, because, you know, I don't want to teach you, Colton, how to just have a successful practice. I want to teach you how to have a happy and successful life. And, and, and fulfillment is everything. Absolutely. I think that's beautiful. Just echoing what you said, the nervous system holds the essence of who we are. Like to grasp that, like one, like hearing that in my, my ears and understanding of my conscious mind. But like you said, taking that to the heart level is like, that's deep. That's deep. And we're working with that each and every day. So that's beautiful. But to what you're saying about having a meaningful life, golly, this is all for nothing if we're not, if we're not really deriving meaning from it, you know? Exactly. And, you know, I don't know, I think you experienced this a, a little bit, um, like a week or two ago where... Mm -hmm.